All right, guys. Quantum entanglement. According to space.com, quantum entanglement is a bizarre, counterintuitive phenomenon that explains how two subatomic particles can be intimately linked to each other even if separated by billions of light years of space. All right, brothers and sisters. We're going to talk about quantum entanglement. Brothers and sisters, this is your energy brother wisdom. What's going on? Um, we're still talking about quantum. We're still talking about the quantum energy, quantum realm, quantum force. But tonight, we're going to discuss quantum entanglement. All right? And you, you see, it's the, they say it's two subatomic particles that are connected together. Uh, even, even if separated, you know, basically that connection, even though they, they're billions of light years away and they, they've been separated, they still have that connection. And this is one thing that we must discuss. All right. And you have to understand, understand, overstand, brothers and sisters, we're going into the physics of our metaphysical cosmic bodies okay quantum entanglement though it may seem like you may be far away from your home planet because there are many brothers and sisters that know their home planet though you may seem like you're far away from your home planet that energy from where you came from is still connected to you. Okay? And you have to understand that these Saxons and Orientals understand the physics of our metaphysical bodies. They know they know the 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 the, the history of how we operate though you may be billions of light years away because you are the cosmos and the flesh that energy that belongs to you you are still connected with it all right and as you go into the quantum realm within yourself what happens that connection becomes even stronger because now what's happening is that you are not looking at things in a physical sense, but you're looking at things in a cosmic sense. And remember, when you're dealing with the cosmos, you're dealing with spirituality. All right? Because when you're dealing with spirituality, you're dealing with frequencies and vibrations. That's true spirituality. True spirituality has nothing to do with Jesus and God and Allah and Jehovah and 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 Muhammad and and you know all this other bullshit. All right, that's not spirituality. That's just religion. That's religious jargon. That's that's designed to to um, keep you in a low state of mind. Okay, so from the cosmos, let's just say we let's just say that we. Our, our souls come from the center of the cosmos. All right? Let's just say our souls come from the center of the cosmos. All right? And the center of the cosmos may be billions and billions and trillions of light years away from where we are currently. But when we go into that, go deep into the spirit realm, when we go deep into that quantum realm, we deal with quantum entanglement. You're literally um, making that connection with source. All right, and they say two subatomic particles. You know that's 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 a, that's theory. That is theory, but in actuality, when you're talking about the actual atomic particles, all right, when you're talking about the actual atomic particles, which we are these atomic particles, we are the living atoms of this realm. We're the atomic particles. And though the atomic particles may be separated from the source billions of light years away, when you go into that state of meditation, 
when you go into that deep state of of tapping into your inner self, you know I'm tired of waiting. You are literally going into that quantum realm, and which is called quantum entanglement, which means that you are you are literally connecting yourself to the source. Therefore, every power that is meant for you, every ability that is meant for you, every um, essence of nature and the cosmos that belongs to you, you make that connection. You have a solid connection because you have a solid uh, 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 foundation within the cosmos. You know who you are. You, the, the knowledge of self. You know, that's like we said before. We said many times before, these Saxons want us to know about Jesus and God. They want us to know about 50 Cent. They want us to know about James Cleveland and Creflo Dollar. They want us to know about um, uh, 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 who, who are all these other other people, Michael Jackson and and uh, uh, all these other people around Barack Obama. And now, you know, this this is what they want us to know. They want us to know everything but but self. And they'll they'll put this information out there. Oh, you go to the encyclopedia and you can learn this person. You can learn about that person. You can learn about this. You can learn about that. But the whole key point is they don't want you to learn the knowledge of self. And when you're going to go deeper and deeper into the knowledge of self, you start understanding that, wow, this shit is deep. This shit is deep. And you go down this rabbit hole and it's like, wait a minute, I can't turn around because I need to know more. So when we're talking about quantum entanglement, we're talking about you, even though you are billions of light years away from your home planet where you originally came from that energy is still keeps you connected though you are billions of light years billions and trillions and trillions of light years away from the center of the cosmos all right trillions and trillions and trillions and billions and trillions and nine millions because the cosmos is literally infinite and when you go deep within yourself and through your soul, what happens? You make that instant connection. And that's quantum entanglement. You make that instant connection, which says that no matter where you go, no matter what you do, you can always link into this power because we are the cosmos in the flesh. We are nature in the flesh, and I'm I'm, I'm so glad we're 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 going these you know these last few um, messages about going into the quantum because this is something that we must uh, 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 pay close attention to because this is who we are. We're supposed to be quantum beings. We're not supposed to be thugs and, and hustlers and drug dealers and, and hoes and pimps and, and preachers and, and, and ministers and Republicans and Democrats. And, you know, we, we're not supposed to be that. We're supposed to be far away from that. All right? We're supposed to be far away from that. So, it's important that we understand that... Our position is to be entangled within the quantum realms of the cosmos, entangled within the quantum realms of nature. Therefore, like in the last message, therefore, you go into the quantum realm and you have no other choice but to build. You have no other choice but to create because you're doing something on a cosmic essence. So that's what, you know, quantum entanglement is all about. You know, scientifically speaking. But in reality, you know, when you tap into the source, once you tap into the source, it's like it's instant. I mean, you think about it. It's like it's instant. It's, it's, it's there. It's, it's not like you're going to have to, well, let me go over here 
and get this and then I gotta turn this on over here and I gotta turn this dial right here to make sure everything works right and I gotta keep uh, make sure that that the energy remains balanced right there and and can't have too many fluids going over here and over there no we don't have to do that they do we don't have to go outside of ourselves all right that's the key point we don't have to go outside of ourselves because everything is within us so that energy that you came from that original galaxy that you came from you can instantly tap into it even though you billions of light years away you can still tap into that energy and the energy between you and your home, the home galaxy that you came from, you can, you can, basically that energy is shared between you and your and and and, and your home. And like we said, the center of the cosmos. I mean, this. So I just wanted to pass, pass that on to you, quantum entanglement, so that you understand that we're supposed to be in this quantum state of mind. But like I said, like the last message, what do we say? We said, when you start getting deeper into the quantum, into that quantum mindset, you start getting deeper into that quantum mindset, you're gonna find yourself in a mode of creation. All right? You're gonna find yourself in a mode of creation. You're gonna find yourself in a mode of, 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 of um, going into the next level. After you have already done all the meditation you can do, you done done all the chai, tai chi, all the chi exercises you can do, you're gonna have to go to the next level, which is creation, man. And then, and then and when you're dealing with space and so when space where time doesn't exist, what happens? There's creation. So quantum entanglement. All right. Be a part of the very source that you came from. Be a part of that very energy that you came from. Be a part of all of it. And this is where we're supposed to be. All right, brothers and sisters. Just want to share that with you. All right. I mean, it's it's it's, it's pretty much self-explanatory. Just wanted, to, just had to make it a little, a little, a bit more simpler for you. Just had to make it a bit more simpler. So that you wouldn't, so some of you, you know, who um, would be like, well, what are you talking about? Because, you know, I, you have to, you know, when you're dealing with these scientists, mainstream scientists, they can tell you things that they learned from us. Because everything that they tell you, oops, I keep going over that spot. Everything that they, they tell you, they have learned from us. It's nothing that they haven't learned from us. It's nothing that they have learned on their own. All right? So, you know, quantum entanglement, yeah, they learned this from us. They learned all the science from us. But the problem is, is that some of the science is so powerful that um, their, their, their bodies can't contain that energy. And that's just the way it is. All right? So, yes, though you may be billions and trillions and trillions and billions of light years away from the center of, of the cosmos which is a source once you tap into yourself because you are the cosmos in the flesh and once you link into that quantum realm within you you link directly into that quantum energy within the cosmos that's how things work that's how things operate all right Though you know, they say though two, you have two subatomic particles and they may be separated billions of light years away from each other, they still have a connection. And that's just the same way with us. We still have a connection with nature, with the cosmos, your home galaxy, your home planet, wherever you come from. That connection is still there and it doesn't go away. And this is why we must have a disciplined mindset this is why we must have a have an enlightened soul this is why we must have an awakened spirit because we're able to tap into that which um mankind fears the quantum realm the realm 
of no impossibilities. The realm where time never exists. And we're bringing the and we bring the quantum realm to our realm. So the more the, the, the deeper we go within the quantum realm within ourselves, the more powerful the quantum realm becomes on our on our realm, on our planet. Because you gotta remember we're the atoms of this realm. So our quantum state of mind brings that quantum energy here. Therefore, we who are the atoms, we literally are the ones who, who, who furnish this realm with all the energies, the powers, and everything else that is necessary. All right, brothers and sisters. So, I pass this on to you. Hope you understand, understand, understand everything I'm saying. All right? And we're going to talk a little later. You know the deal, brothers and sisters. All power to the multi chakra celestial angelic beings make chaos reign through forever and ever and ever. And remember, chaos is change. Chaos is absolute change. All right? Much power to you all.